Flag run here is prime Team Fortress classic material. Uh, easily right up there with Warpath and Badlands. Uh, one of my favorites. I um, always enjoyed it when it would show up on server, like, you know, rotation and stuff like that. Uh, it's quite unique because it, it is capture the flag, but, well, I'll show it in gameplay. It's more... What's the word I'm looking for? Actually, yeah... I don't even know how to describe it. Like, there's probably a really easy word uh, to describe it. But there's four flags, basically. And you gotta have all of them in order to win the map. And you can steal them even after they've already been, like, you know, stolen. And there's, like, some neutral ones. It's just wacky. It, it's a nice new concept. And the last of the, um... And actually, most original map that was added in the October 23rd, 2000 update. Um, so yeah, that, that's something. Um, it's also symmetrical and like Casbah, so it's not a heretic, but you know, now I'm just getting all over the place. Let's just start this thing. So this is the thing, as you can see right here, is that this is the center area, right? Now there are two flags here. These are the neutral flags. You can't grab these right away. But as I've said in the little introduction there, in order to win the map, you need to grab all four flags. And that's the only way you can win. You can get points, obviously, uh, from just like capturing individual flags. But if you want to actually end the map, you got to grab those flags. And now the thing is, once I show you here, once I remember where the flag room is, I always forget it's on the other side of this. You start with one in possession, so obviously, blue team would have one as well. Um, and there's this little helpful thing to see how many are captured at one time. So yeah, once you get all, like, you know, there's a spot for each of them. I don't know why I'm so fixated on capturing all of them. So we'll, we'll start here, actually. We'll work our way outwards. This is the capture area. A lot of good places to defend. You got high up, there like, sentry spots here, or heavy weapons guys, what I have you. The entrance here, you can actually get in here and, like, you know, if you're careful. You can actually, like, you know, use a nail gun or, like, you know, single barrel shotgun to pick away at sentry guns. But only there. Here, you're going to get your ass blasted if you're not careful. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at the little upper area itself. Uh, this is, um, a little gate area that only the team that is current, like, the base... that The, the team that the base belongs to can take. If you're the attacker, you cannot go this way. Um, and yeah, that's a convenient, like, way to get to the little defense areas if you're a defender. Or you can take the elevator. In fact, the, this elevator works for both team members. Or both teams, I should say. So yeah, keep that in mind. There's also this back way here. Which, you know, can be really helpful as an attacker. This is a good area to find, like, you know, for an engineer to build a teleporter. Because I feel this building is a little bit overlooked. Even if there's a respawn and, like, a resupply right here, you'd be impressed how few, like, defenders will actually take a peek out this way, you know? So don't discount that. You got this open area here. Uh, lots of little mischief and, like, you know, skirmishes can go down here. I won't give you the strategic layouts, but you just use your imagination. Same with this little area over here. A lot of attacking, like, attackers are going to be, like, you know, rocket jumping and conch jumping up this way from this area. So if you're a defender, you want to make sure you have someone watching these windows here. Even watching this walkway, too, because any class can come this way. Leads into the big main area over there. Here's the other side too, which is how you can get into the main area of the capture point. Really good for snipers, I should mention. So getting into here can be really risky. It's entirely possible if the other team isn't paying attention. But you know, with like, you know, a heavy weapons guy or sentry up here, sniper down that way, your best bet is to try to be sneaky. Even if you're not playing a stealthy class. Here's another way you can get into the main area. It's a rather small map, even if it looks bigger than it actually is. Um, obviously here, you got these walls to hide behind to build sentries and stuff like that. Or be heavy weapons guy, demo man, whatever you want to do. And now here's the main area where you can grab the neutral flags. You gotta take the ladder up, or you can rocket jump or like conch jump up here, what have you. So yeah, here you grab the flag and then you gotta drop down into this little grenade area here. And that's how you can get it. And besides that, there's little areas to hide here. Stuff like that. You know, this is where those areas I was talking about earlier where you can comp jump and I'll show them off real quick. Up here you have a few ways to go, actually. I forgot this ladder's here. Every time I play this map, I forget the ladder's here. So if you're an attacker, you don't even need to take the the comp jump or the rocket jump. You can, like, if you know, you, like, you're, not, you're not too afraid of getting shot. Obviously, here's a spawn point here. Be very careful. Resupply. And yeah, that's actually pretty much it for the map. Like I said, it's actually really small. But my goodness, the gameplay and strategy here is insane. Though, it's another 24 um, player map. Because I feel with 32 people, even if the map, like, you know, 
is really fun. With 32 people, the central area here just becomes too much of a chicken shit show. And, like, you know, nothing really gets done, in my opinion. And he'll just have, like, 20 heavy weapons guys everywhere just blasting. Uh, with 24 people, there's some breathing space here for you to actually get into the enemy base. But, you know, you'll probably have just as much fun with 32 players as you would 24 people. Let's be honest, I'm an idiot. Well, it's interesting, if you didn't catch with the neutral flags here, I like it, the green and yellow team are here. Like, the symbols, I think this might be the only time in any of the official maps you ever see these symbols. Which is funny, because the textures and, like, everything are in the game for them. It's a nice touch on Valve's part to, like, actually bother to add symbols for two teams that their stock maps... With the exception of the Hunted, technically the Assassins are the yellow team. But you know what I mean, they never actually have, like, a four-team map anywhere. So it's nice that they, like, you know, recognize them in some regard. It's not that they put the med kits here. I forgot to bring that up earlier. Because it helps to actually, like, you know, when you're playing the um, attacking team, it actually helps you be able to grab, like, have a chance of grabbing the other flags. It's just a really well thought out map. Um, I don't know if I would actually put it above, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Put it above uh, Warpath in terms of maps I like. Like, nothing will ever beat Badlands to me. That is just the perfect kind of, like, capture the flag map. And the perfect map for this game, really. But still, you know, like it's like kind of like I said with Warpath, where I forget about Warpath when talking about maps I like in this game or things I like about this game. And then I'll be reminded of it. I'll be like, oh yeah, that map fucking slaps. By the way, you probably couldn't hear it there, but I love the way Vox says stolen. The enemy has stolen. 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 Flag one. It's great. As you saw there, too, the uh, doors are agnostic to uh, whoever ends up picking up the, uh, climbing the ladder there. So you can totally go around and uh, grab the flag. You don't have to, like, go from your end. It's a minor thing, but it's worth pointing out. Totally gonna make that game audio really loud there for a second so you can hear the glory of STOLEN! 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 Uh, I guess one negative I have, and you can probably see it already, is if you're not careful, the, the snipers can absolutely dominate the central area. Though, with both teams using the snipers, it doesn't, at least it kind of balances out. So, you know, it's not too big a deal. Oh, God damn it! What? What? You fucking idiot! Stupid moron. Are you for real? My, uh, uh, uh. You know I don't want, I don't like doing this because you know I like the bots being stupid, but they're just genuinely being stupid right now, like harmfully so. God damn. Oh yeah, I forgot the the flags in this game go back really or in this map go back really damn fast if they get dropped. Well, at least it's actually in game again. There's a lot of opportunities for great, um, conk jumping if you know what you're doing. Like, even that right there at the beginning of the map. ARE YOU A FUCKING SHITLORD ASSHOLE?! See, play a hate against it, Roscoe and that other dude, Gordon. God damn, you gotta get your shit together, guys. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, there's tons of great opportunities for, uh, conk jumping if you know what you're doing. This is a great uh, scout and medic map. I guess what put definitely also puts this below um, Bad Lads of Warpath for me personally is that yeah it's a little bit imbalanced when it comes to the classes, as you can see with the um, the scout and like you know the freaking uh, like snipers and all that they have a little bit of advantage over some other classes, not super much but you know enough that you know you'll definitely see more of them than you would in some other maps. Yeah, I, I forgot the only advice I gave earlier. So, well. Uh, well, there we go now. Getting my eggs scrambled. Stole! How could possibly go wrong? They keep the pressure up, guys. All right, this is where things get interesting. Trying to deal with those uh, sentries as I brought up earlier. Well, we're gonna have to come from the top. That's the only way I can see this working. So yeah, if you couldn't tell already, if the flag, uh, flag two or three is stolen, and then dropped, and then it doesn't have a chance to get back to its original like. The, the, like, the person who originally captured it, it will respawn in the middle there. 
Which is interesting, it keeps things really dynamic. Oh, for fuck's sakes, you absolute unit of a shitlord! I hate you! Okay, hold on. I'm gonna be smart this time. Kick him when I'm over there, so then I can grab the flag. I shouldn't have to do this! But you're a freaking insult to nature! Fuck off, Ted. I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a bad mood, Ted! Yeah, sick jump, bruh. Go! I don't think Windows ME or whatever his name is has moved at all. No, that's anti-human. That fucker has been standing there for the last three millennia. Goodness gracious. What is this nonsense? No, really? Really? What was that? That was incredible. I was actually soaring like an eagle. Oh. Okay, come on. He's not there. Come on, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Yes. 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 Holy shit, we got a chance, guys. Go. You fucking bitch. I'm going to kill you, Caleb. I'm going to fucking murder you. Pain. So I got to get over there before they end up building another goddamn fucking sentry. I got to keep the cycle of pain going. Please, God. Please, God. Please, God. Yes. 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 Yes! Yes! Damn it! I have not stolen Flag 3 and I just knocked the headphones off my head. I don't need them. Who needs them? I'll just play in absolute loudness. Oh. Oh god, I'm on fire. Just go, you stupid ass. Oh! <laughs> Wait! No! This is- We got this! Yes! Holy shit! Okay, go! Oh! All right, if this over here, it shouldn't be too bad to... Yeah, hold on. There you go. Okay, go, go! The real night... The real nightmare, if you couldn't tell, is the... When the sentry is in, like, the kind of center there. Like, you know what I mean? When it's, like, you know, right above the entrance, that's when it's a fucking problem. I don't know how much time's left, but we're gonna try something a little bit beefier. Come on, Benic, let's go. Yeah, see, Kong Jump is still great with the medic. Not a problem. Yeah, ah, uh, freaking flag run, man. Easily top tier. Just, it's be better than Warpath. Not as good as Badlands, though.